Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I thought it'd be fun to do an updated what I eat in a day video because the last one I did was all about me doing the seven day slim down, which was awesome. But I want to show you kind of like how I normally eat day to day. So if you guys know, I have my hot body meal plans and my hypothyroidism plan. So I normally am okay with having sprouted grains and dairy if it's grass fed. But lately I feel like my body's just like not been feeling it. So I'm following the hypothyroidism meal plan and really just sticking to no grains, no dairy. And for the last week, I felt so much less bloated and just like way better. So I'm going to show you guys what my typical day looks like. If you follow me at Love Sweat Fitness on Instagram, you probably saw Ren and I finally, finally got a treadmill for our house, which is so nice for my cardio days in the Love Sweat Fitness app. And just honestly, like I love going for hikes and long walks outside and stuff, but like we live in a neighborhood that just straight up hill, straight down. Like you have to be prepared. And I don't always want to drive somewhere, so it's nice for my early morning. So this morning I walked for an hour at like a moderate pace, a little like moderate intensity. Just showered, I'm starting to get ready. And as I get ready, I always love to have my coffee. And if you watch my routine videos, you know, my coffee is not just like a pot of coffee, throw some cream, call it a day. Like it's a ritual. I'm gonna show you. with a bunch of different adaptogens. I mix it up all the time, so right now it's maca, lion's mane, ashwagandha, um, and I just add that into my coffee to start, about one to two tablespoons or teaspoons, and it's equal parts of all of those things. It's about 12.30, and this is what I'm gonna make breakfast, so I know that's like later for most people than like breakfast, but I still, like I said, like love to have my breakfast food, so I'm gonna make something for Ryan and I. I was just looking at what's on my meal plan. So again, I'm doing the hypo meal plan right now. And it was like sweet potatoes with eggs and some veggies. So instead of taking the time to do sweet potatoes, I have some cauliflower rice. I'm just gonna swap that out because it's easy, like healthy carb for healthy carb. Um, vegetable, vegetable, same, same. And I don't know, I always like to switch up how I do my eggs. Like some days I'm really feeling scrambled. Some days I like, like over medium or sunny side up. So I figure out, maybe I'll just ask Ryan what he wants because I'm being indecisive. Like, some scramble, maybe? You want scramble? Yeah. Okay. Scrambled eggs it is. Or like, Oh. are we gonna put, is there toast involved? I'm gonna, <laughs> is there toast involved? No, not right now, because I don't have any gluten-free toast and we're okay. hypoing. Then scrambled. Okay, I mean, you could have toast. I won't be selfish just because I am not eating toast. And over easy. Okay. Like over medium. Okay, okay, got yeah. it. Got it, got it, got it. If you guys follow my Instagram stories, you know that I've had quite the last couple of months with Amazon Whole Foods delivery, just messing everything up. So this is actually another mess up. It's like rice cauliflower with bell peppers and onions, and I just wanted regular rice cauliflower. But turns out it's actually delicious. So it was like a good mess up, a mess up bonus in disguise. So I'm going to use this. Um, and just get it going in the pan, and then we'll add the eggs. I like can never help but snack while I make food. I always have to snack on something, so blackberries. Because cold cauliflower is not very snackable. These blackberries are so freaking good. Like, so good. Alright, so I just added the spinach. For those of you who haven't done my plans before, the way that I do them is I keep them super, super simple so that they're straightforward if you don't wanna deal with like 
a bunch of ingredients and stuff, you can have it simple, but you can also make it your own, get really creative, add as many veggies as you want, add all the spices. So that's what I like to do. So in the little mixture, I added obviously like a ton of spinach because I always have to have greens with my meals. But then I also added like paprika, salt, pepper, garlic powder, um, a bunch of spices just to like add even more flavor to it. That's just how I like to like keep things mixed up a little bit. So we have that, the eggs are almost done. And I think, well, I had like strawberries, so I ate the blackberries. So meal two. They may not be the prettiest eggs I've ever made in my life, but this smells so good, so delicious. That's like why I love spices and stuff because you can just completely change the flavor of something. And then again, like since the cauliflower had the bell peppers and stuff mixed in, it just was easy because I didn't have to chop anything else up. Um, and I'm gonna dig into this while I do a little more work. Also, this hot sauce is life. <laughs> if you ever need a hot sauce. Uh, it's yellow bird, this is the green one. There's a habanero one too, it's a serrano. I never used to like hot sauce, but I really like this hot sauce. And I know people ask about sodium. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> we can look at it, but here's the thing. If it's you're working out and eating healthy and stuff, like your body needs some sodium. You just don't want to be dumping sodium in every meal that you eat. Like I don't usually put a lot of salt on the food I cook, so then I don't feel bad having it in salt. 160 milligrams, no, no sugar, no added sugar. Is that? Is that probably hot sauce? Added sure. sugar, yeah, for yeah. sure. Mm -hmm. So, this is good stuff. It is snack time. Okay, I usually have something every like two and a half to three hours. So, I also just listen to my body though. If I'm like randomly really hungry, then I'm going to eat something. And I always will use healthy fats and proteins as my go-to snacks. I try not to snack on like carby things throughout the day. Like carbs are really important. You have to eat healthy carbs and especially if you're doing the hypothyroidism meal plan or any of that and you're not having like gluten and stuff, then you just need to make sure you're getting good healthy carbs. I mean, always you wanna do that. Um, but I'll show you guys some of my fave snacks. This is my snack cabinet because it is like eye level within reach. Um, so I always have like some nuts in here that I mix together and then my chomps. Um, you guys have seen me talk about these a ton, freaking obsessed. I think I'm gonna go with both of these. All right, so in the plans you might see sometimes it's like 16 nuts or like a small handful. At the end of the day, like it's just like a small handful of nuts or like two tablespoons of nuts. So um, you could pretend a small handful is like that. Yeah, I see that. This is more of a large handful. Um, it's almost covering my hand. So a small handful to me is like, I can actually grip it in my palm. Um, and that's actually perfect. So that's probably 15 to 20 nuts. That's good. Um, and then I'm gonna have my Chomps turkey stick. So I just absolutely love Chomps because they have no added sugars, non-GMO. It's like gluten-free, which obviously I want. This one has 10 grams of protein. It's great, and one stick. So sometimes I'll even eat two of these because I like to have between 10 and 20 grams of protein per serving, um, sometimes more if I can get it, but um, I'm getting some protein in my nuts too, so I'm gonna start with this. They're just like the absolute best. Like I love that they have all different types, so I don't eat beef, I just do the turkey ones. They have a jalapeno one that's so freaking good. I love the spice, but Ryan likes beef, so there's like different beef flavors and stuff that he has too. Um, but we absolutely always have these things on hand. There's usually some in my car, they're at the office, they're at our house, so that we have like a good, clean, better for you protein pack snack. But yeah, the jalapeno one is my other favorite one. Maybe I'll eat that one for my second snack. No antibiotics or added hormones. And it's also really nice because you can have them delivered right to your house, which is super convenient. I've been avoiding just going to the store in general, which is weird because normally I love grocery shopping and I freaking miss it so much. Chomps, chomps, they're very good. And every time I share them in my Instagram stories, you guys always ask me, yes, I have a code, LSF20, you can get 20% off your chomps. 
and honestly do it. If you're a snacker like me, I love grazing and eating throughout the day, you're gonna wanna have these on hand, so click the link down below. All right, so that's like meal three for me. Um, it's kinda like my snack meal situation. I'm already thinking about what I'm gonna make for dinner. Let's see what's on the plan. Ooh, bison burgers. So you do bison burgers, I can, if like, I'll see if Ryan wants that, or turkey or salmon. And again, that's a nice thing. I can just like switch it up depending on what I have defrosted. And I know I have bison, I just don't know if it's in the freezer. So I'm just gonna figure it out as we go. It's meal four time, and this is kind of weird because like it's not, it's kind of like three and a half because I count my coffee as meal one, but like that's not like a full meal. You know what I mean? So like, I feel like coffee is like half a meal and dessert's half a meal. So I don't know what meal this is, but it's my next one. <laughs> so this is actually a spin on a salad that I created for the seven day slim down meal plan. Um, it normally has tuna, but I have salmon. So I'm gonna use salmon instead, a bunch of greens, some olives, my LSF dressing. It's gonna be delicious. And that is my beautiful, super healthy salad. My dressing is basically olive oil, apple cider vinegar, lemon, bunch of seasonings. So delicious, so easy to make at home. And I just need to know because Ryan is like disgusted by olives and pickles and all those kinds of things. And I love them so much. And I just put so many of those Kalamata, Kalamata olives in this. Are you guys into pickles? Are you into olives? comment. I want to make sure I'm not alone and like being weird that I just freaking love olives and I love pickles. I feel like they're similar. I can't imagine you like one and not the other. Okay, I'm going to eat this. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so good. I use these like spicy chipotle little chickpeas on top too. It's like ridiculous. I think I'm going to have to make this recipe like an actual recipe for you guys. We're gonna dig into the fridge and see what proteins I actually have for dinner to decide what to make. All right, so that's lunch turkey. I do have defrosted bison. I have some ground turkey and chicken sausage. Yep. What should we eat? I got bison, ground turkey, or chicken sausage. Rule out bison. Okay, we did just have bison burgers. Mm -hmm. Um, what will we do with the chicken sausage? Um, I could do like some veggies and like my, okay, let's talk. My meal plan tonight, like I said, was like a bison burger. I think it was like a cup of brown rice, um, some veggies, whatever. So basically protein, starch, like vegetable, um, and what else did I do? Yeah. So yeah, basically that's it. So, I feel like we could do chicken sausage. It's Friday also, so like a little extra. You wanna get wild? Yeah, get wild. Chicken sausage, um, the kale gnocchi, which is made with like mm. kale and cauliflower. There's no actual oh. um, like potato in it, so it's gluten-free and everything. We could do that, and yeah. then I just do that instead of rice and some veggies. Sounds good. See, this is what I'm talking about with the plan though. Like, you can make it your own. You can have pasta night. It's gonna be okay. So this is the kale gnocchi. I realize it actually does have potato, which is not a bad thing at all, but it's kale, potato starch, chickpea flour, sea salt, extra virgin oil, super clean. Um, not too far off from what brown rice would be anyway. Obviously there are some differences, but not a big deal. And then I'm gonna use the roasted garlic marinara sauce. This one's from Primal Kitchen. And add my chicken sausage in there and get it all mixed up. Real talk. 
Yeah. Do you think we will ever actually eat at the dining table regularly? No. <laughs> I don't know. We were talking about this the other day. I don't know when this habit started of like sitting on the floor. We have a beautiful dining table. Yeah. I mean, I think it's just like partially we work really hard all day. I mean, it's like eight o'clock. We're just eating now. Um, so like we work all day and it's like, I kind of just like, I like sitting here cause we can relax, just chill a little bit, watch TV. It doesn't feel like so like stiff. Yeah. I think also there's a lot of couples that like don't talk all day. And so like dinner is like the only time they like talk and catch up. And if you're like sitting and watching a show or something, you're not talking to your spouse. We just talk during the show the whole time. It doesn't even really matter. And we talk all day. And we talk and, literally all day. Yeah. And we definitely have time that's like just the two of us, like not TV or like whatever. But, um, I don't know. I feel like when we have kids maybe, or a kid, or if we have a kid. Two? Are we having two? <laughs> no, we definitely would only have one. Um, yeah, maybe, like maybe, yeah, family that. Family dinner. Well, like, they would be really gonna... weird for like a kid to pull up here. Well, and... we'll eat dinner together <laughs> or like we'll whatever, and then we, you and I will have like our separate like grown up dinner. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. It was weird. We'll figure that anyway, out. Anyway, we're gonna eat now. <laughs> it's dessert time. Um, you guys have seen my hanger bombs a million times. They're in the meal plan. They're just like one of my favorite snacks. I've been so PMSy this week and just wanting like, I don't know. I don't really crave sweets as much as like fatty things if that makes sense so these are like healthy nut butter healthy fats magnesium will help like curb your cravings all the things you need um so i'll show you guys in case you haven't seen them before but it's basically like a healthified version of a reese's peanut butter cup minus the chocolate sometimes i add dark chocolate to them too these ones just don't have it but but you can see it's just mostly almond butter it's so good though and it just like hits the spot. So that's essentially everything I eat in a day. At least that's everything I ate today. Um, I'll link down below to my meal plans for you guys. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. Comment down below that tells me in YouTube to make more videos like this to show you more of my days. Cause like I do switch it up a lot. Like I have some like guidelines I stick to cause I stick to like general guidelines of my meal plans and guiltless nutrition. But like what I'm eating changes all the time. Sometimes it's super healthy and sometimes it's like a little extra or there's cocktails or whatever so comment hit the thumbs up if you're not already subscribed click that red button subscribe to my channel i have new videos every sunday tons of free workouts for you guys every day in the app so make sure you download that check it out and i'll see you next week bye